Watching faux painter Alan Knight in action, you would never guess that just three weeks prior, he was lying here on the operating table at St. Vincent's Medical Center. Oh, I've got, I've had pain for a lot of years, even, even as a young fellow. It just progressively got worse. Alan suffered from bone spurs and a degenerative disc at the C5 level of his spine. A new procedure now being offered at St. Vincent's put an end to Alan's misery in under 60 minutes. Come in here, please. In August, Spine and Brain Institute Medical Director for Neurosurgery, Dr. Eric Gabriel, performed the hospital's first pro-disc cervical replacement, an alternative to the traditional spinal fusion. And that procedure has been done for about 60 years, and it's pretty tried and true. But that procedure has long-term consequences because the, the spine is not used to being fused together, and that can create increased stress on the levels above and below the fusion. With the Pro Disc C, surgeons remove the degenerative disc and replace it with this artificial one, which basically works like a ball and socket and allows increased flexibility and range of motion. Patients such as this, um, they. Uh, um, regain their uh, flexibility and their range of motion very quickly. They don't have the pain associated with the restriction of motion from the fusion, and so they can get back to a, a more normal activity much quicker. The quick recovery time was crucial for Alan, as his income is dependent on his painting business. Alan was back to work in under three weeks, but this time was different. I don't have the pain that I had before. If I, especially doing something like this, it's, it's real hard on the shoulders and the neck area and I've, I've, I've found that I can work an eight-hour day in it other than just being stiff and sore like, like the average 45-year-old man would be at the end of a hard day's work. You know, no more, no less. But I, I don't have the pain that I did before then. Today, he is a changed man. The scar on his neck from the surgery is hardly even noticeable. And for the first time in a long time, Alan can work and do the things he enjoys most without suffering. I'm good to go now.